Well, on the plus side, I now know where Verizon Wireless is. In a place where Verizon Wireless wouldn't actually work. <laughs> Going back to the Flame Wheel Forest. I've restocked on balls. I'm ready. Also, we haven't explored that place very much, so that'll be fun. See what I missed the first go-round. Can't get a uh, Terracotta Soldier until... Uh, you can't get Verizon Wireless until you uh, get Cabellion. And then you can't get Terracotta Soldier until you... Um, until you beat, until you get to the elite, not the elite four, victory road. Mental note, do you need to buy more repels? Come on. I have a potion. I think it's here? Yeah. All right. It sounds like my gato. You sound like my cat. All right, Verizon Wireless. Verizon Wireless is grass fighting. So she's a detriment to like half my team. Yes, I know legendaries don't have gender, but Verizon looks like a girl to me. Um, Blitz is gonna have to eat a justified or sacred blade. Oh, a retaliate. Interesting. Ah, my soul! Well, I'm gonna hit him with a flame charge and leave, I guess. Hopefully I don't kill him. I did not kill him. I'm gonna do it again. Fuck it. If he dies, he dies. Damn it! Alright, let's not even do the fake out thing. Let's just start with Blitz. Alright, try timber two. So if I can get that crit at the front end and not at the back end, that would be lovely. Like if I were getting to crit on the first hit. Oh, this one's tankier than the last one. Interesting. Interesting. Or maybe it's a damage range thing. Maybe it has a tankier nature. I don't know. I like his music though. Wow. Um, can I do a Mega Drain? Hopefully it doesn't kill it. I don't think it would, right? Because it, it should be not very effective. Yeah. So we just kind of bleed it a little bit, as long as I don't crit too hard. Or once. As long as I don't crit. We should be okay. But he also knows Giga Drain. Alright. You bitch. Okay. My... My soul. Alright. I see you. I'm sorry. Uh, Dustball? I couldn't catch your brother in this, but it amuses me, so I want to try again. You know? Oh. Oh, there goes my burb. Oh, he's quad weak to flying, so I can't even hit him with anything. Um, let's try Surf. See what that does. Nothing. Okay. That just hurts. <laughs> That's all that does. You're dick, dick. Ah, uh, no! I'm a die. Ah, uh, be so sad. This is my doom. My destiny was to bring Verizon back to full health. That was my destiny. 
Okay, grass boy. Flame charge. Uh, discharge. Because it shouldn't do that much damage, because my special sucks. Bro! You're a jerk! That's the wrong bag. This one's just gonna be a pain in the ass to catch me, thanks. Yeah. He's gotta be running out of Giga Drains, though. Alright, we'll just start throwing Ultra Balls. Woo! Thanks, Verizon! Its head sprouts horns as sharp as blades, using the whirlwind-like moves. It confounds and swiftly cuts opponents. You want to give a nickname to Verizon? Yes. Yes, I do. Veri... Oh. Veri... Zon. Okay, to the computer. I miss you already. Alright, so we can't get the third one until much later, which is fine, I don't, I don't really, it's not really hurting my feelings any. But we could easily replace Crocodile with Variety, with, uh, we could replace Scraggy with Chameleon, and then we could replace, uh, Superior with Verizon Wireless. Hmm, gotta think about that. I don't, I think it, I think it would make the game too easy if we had four legendaries. No matter what, somebody's getting replaced with uh, Zircom, at least until after we beat N. I don't know if we'll use them in the Elite Four. All right, I have a plan for the legendaries, but that'll come to flourishing later. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it. You know, it'd help if I wasn't daydreaming over here and actually did something. Ugh, so much editing. It's my own fault and I know it, but still, I'm the problem. <gasps> We're going to Opioid City next. Or Opulent City. I'm gonna call it Opulent City because it sounds cooler than whatever the fuck they name that shit. Alright. <laughs> I'm still Travisized. Tra travestied. Alright. Uh you need to switch. Uh what is your held item? Alright. So who has the thing I need? Sharp beak. If I eventually learn how to use my buttons correctly. Okay, Serpenter has the, uh, the thing I need, so that's good. Alright, let's go! I went the wrong way! I need to go right, right. Did we fight him already? I did fight you, okay. We literally have one gym left, because Flame was a fucking idiot. Okay, you my ass. Man, fuck. Oh, did I... I'm a splash in the puddles, Mom! I didn't explore this town at all? I literally came in, whooped the gym leader's ass? And then did nothing? What? Oh, what? Alright, we showed up, went to the spire. Or no, we showed up, kicked his ass, went- Or no, we went to the spire, discovered no, that we couldn't go up it, whooped his ass, went back to the spire, climbed all the way to the top of the spire, kicked their asses, came back, went to the fucking desert, got the dark stone, can't do anything with it. Okay. So I, in fact, did not explore the town. Okay, so if you walk in the water, you might get a fight. I want to check out that house, though. That looks haunted. Spooky. Must explore spooky. Must explore spooky. Can I get in it? Are you only for show? A sad face. How unfortunate. So, how do I use the dark stone? I'm assuming they'll tell me at some point. No, I definitely explored here. 
This lady likes doesn't like her monotonous life. Yeah, there's yeah, I, I definitely did explore a little bit. I just didn't go. Things happen so rapidly. I didn't go this way. Why is this here? I like the windmill. That's cool. I actually like this whole area. I think it's neat. There's got to be a reason I wasn't over here previously. Oh, it's a shelmet. Neat. Are you still yet? He wants me CP. I don't want to be CP. I'm gonna hit it with my strength. My superior strength. With an F. What's up, Ranger Boy? Mother Nature changes look according to season. There's something my chairs. Aw! That's awesome. Oh, it's the ice bear! Cubachu! Cubachu from the underground! Mega drain him. I don't know how tough he is. Huh, I'm surprised he knew Slash. Fascinating. Learning stuff! You, you would live with a goddamn sliver. Ah, my attack! No! I needed that. Probably. Probably don't actually. I don't even have arms. I'm actually left with more questions. I don't want to switch, but he lowered my attack. Oh well. Maybe I'm strong enough that it won't matter because he's quad weak to it. Yatta. Okay, it didn't matter. I was worried. 41? Whoop whoop. About to use a... A what? Oh, that thing. I should switch. Uh, I should switch. Yep. Yep, yep. I should switch. Pokemon. Not Blitz. Purr, because she has the amulet coin. Might as well get some money out of these fuckers. So that's terrifying. We knew a move that needed it. Um, fake him out. Yes, off. He wasn't raining. That will reassure him. It's a. Oh. So is acupuncture random? Ah, that must be random. Interesting. Ah, uh, no! Oh, my soul! It hurts. It hurts as precious. Oh, no! Oh no! Oh no! It's all gone terribly wrong! Blitz, can we just... Ugh, gosh dang it. Not very effective. Still took half my health though. Fuck! Why does that hurt so much? Die. I'm gonna need you to perish. Oh! Oh no! His defense is too high! It's over 9,000! Getting beat by a cactus! You haven't raised your special attack, so, uh. Yeah. Oh! What an evil ass Pokemon! You're the worst of every world! <laughs> and I let you power up too much. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Regrets. Jesus. You seem to cherish nature. You seem to whoop my ass. I wasn't ready. Thanks for the berry, bro. Ah, poison barb. I don't have anyone in those poison attacks, but that could be useful, I guess. Alright, let's heal and come back, I guess. Gosh dang it. Getting my ass kicked. You need the XP, though. Uh, and I think the next gym's 50. And I think the next big encounter's level 50. So kind of want to be level 50, I think. Oh, never mind. I only had to be 43 to beat the gym leader. <sighs> well, that's the that's what her level of her Pokemon are. So, and the Pokemon I'm going to use for that isn't even on my team yet. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. I like the change in how you can encounter things in this game. I think that is, it's, it's a really fascinating, like, they... It frustrates me because they put so much effort into this game versus like games after this. Like they put a lot of different mechanics, different, uh, they really went all out with the freaking graphics. It's like amazing. Like how good this game is compared to like how much of an improvement it was versus the previous games, right? Like this is a huge improvement over, um, Diamond and Pearl, which was pretty good. Story was a little weak. Platinum story was way better, which is what made me sad about Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is that it wasn't just Platinum. It was just Pearl and Diamond again. And the plot for Platinum was way better. It was just way longer. But like as a story, it was a better story. Um, Sludge Bomb. That's gonna be helpful. But then, like, compare the story we're going through now, right, with Platinum, and this this feels like a better story. But on top of being a better story, the, the pixel art's better, the combat's more interesting, the move variety's more interesting. The Pokemon of this generation weren't that great. For some of them, right? Like, everyone all trashes on the ice cream cone and the fucking trash bag. Which I do too. It's fun to talk shit on a trash bag. Um, but when you look at the creativity of the rest of the fucking game, you're like, eh, this is probably not fair. You know? Like, overall, I've been having a fucking blast with this, right? So, like, the game after this is X and Y, isn't it? It's, well, black and white too, right? So you black and white too, and then we're at X and Y. But X and Y isn't anything close to this, right? They have undefined villains. There's so many different... Your rivals are just a group of people. They're not even rivals at that point. They're just a bunch of different trainers. The only interesting one, I think... I can't even remember her name was the tan one with the short shorts, and she wasn't interesting. She's just, you know, I don't. <laughs> your, your actual rival, not that interesting. Um, but you had character customization, which was cool, which was something they didn't have. The villains were ill-defined. The only interesting villain, the, on, the, the interesting thing about X and Y is like the past in this game. As dark as it would be, I would like to be in the era where it was Pokemon Wars. I think that would be a fascinating story to tell. But it'd be way too dark for this audience. Guaranteed 110%. You know. And then after that, you have Sun and Moon, which they push the limits of the engine right so like they pushed the engine as hard as they could on the 3ds to the point where the game lagged half the time because even with optimization it was too much for the 3ds to handle and then the story for that minus the tutorial island was great right like it was interesting things happened that weren't expected lily was you know an interesting character getting to babysit her the whole game you know she grew as a person which was great um so that had an actual plot to it and then obviously they remade it. Helicopter. Wish I had a mood that just fucking ignored to protect so I didn't have to fucking deal with this bullshit. And then it's Sword and Shield, which we jumped to 3D and then all the character animations are gone. 
Like, half the moves don't have fucking animation. They don't correspond to, like, Charizard never breathes fire out of its mouth. Um, actually, no Pokemon breathes fire out of the mouth, so they didn't customize that. They lost all the cool movements. Um, you weren't the protagonist. Fucking Leon was the fucking pro... The bigger brother was the fucking protagonist, and you just happened to take his fucking job at the end of the game. You know? <laughs> Um, I liked the the way the gyms worked. I felt felt like that was more like the cartoon. But like, I never felt like the main character in that game. I'm so sleepy. I wish I had a pokey flute. That would be lovely. But like. All of these characters have animations, and like, the, all the attacks have actual animations. And you would think with the 3D we would have got like... How the fuck are you hitting with 100% accuracy on Sing, bro? Fucking hate you so much. I... I'm not mad, you're mad. So it's crazy seeing just the level of effort they put forth in this game and then where they focus their effort when they move to 3D. And don't get me wrong, the 3DS games, Ultra Sun and Ultra Mood, those were 3D characters. So hopefully they can take the animations that they got out of freaking uh, Bandai for Snap and throw it in the new game. I am super looking forward to the new game, but at the same time I expect to be disappointed. Because that's all Pokemon games. I like the idea that everything's going to be open world because that was like my dream wish as a small child. And boy, having played so many open world games... I don't know anymore if that's actually a good fucking design thing. Like, I don't know if that's an actually good design decision on that one. So, it just makes you wonder. I'm like, hmm. Will this work out? I hope it works out. Um, I, I'm hoping since they had time to develop all these mods that they, they put a little bit more personality into them. You know what I mean? Like, Coliseum, a lot of the Pokemon had really cool, uh, animations as far as, like, personality for each Pokemon. Now, Obviously, it'd be a lot harder because there's fucking 800 of these shits, you know, but I don't know. Maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe my expectations are way too high. I don't know. All right. I haven't been paying attention, but I apparently fought my way here. So let's heal and then we will go into the forest. Well, let me be clear, right? So when I say effort, let me be more fair. Those video games are really hard to fucking make. Really fucking hard. But when you are literally the largest media conglomerate in the fucking world, you can pay people to make things better. Like, you have the money. Like, you could fix the things people complained about. Like, I don't care about the Pokedex, right? Like, I don't care that it didn't have all 800 and some fucking Pokemon in a 3D Pokemon game. I was excited to have a 3D Pokemon game. I just expected the graphics to be close or near to what we got in the old fucking Colosseum games, and that's not what we got. Where the fuck is the right goddamn- Okay, I'm just at the bottom some, for some reason. Literally, I just wanted to use a rappel so I could walk over here. Right. So they focused a lot more on making the old open world game and then just getting everything exported to 3D. Fair. Makes sense, right? Like, it wasn't going to be easy to convert over from pixel art over to 3D, but they were already using three-dimensional monsters in- X and Y, it's why the game... And then they were using it in Sun and Moon, and that's why the game was so choppy at times with its frame rate, because they were using 3D models on an engine that could barely run 3D models. So it's not like they were exporting something new, but because they had converted only recently to 3D, they didn't put any of the, like, interesting animations for certain Pokémon. And when you have 800 and nine, almost 900 of them shits, I guess, it makes sense that it might not be worth the time. It might have been just worth it to export everything over to the Switch, make a game as fast as possible, make it a simple story, add your extra Pokemon, and then hopefully 
your next game could be more clean, right? So, they now have the technology for the open world game. They already have, you know, 600, 500, 600, 700 Pokemon already in the 3D, you know, already in the 3D space. They've now had a Pokemon Diamond game and a Pokemon Snap game that had animations for some of the older Pokemon that they could easily import to give them more, like, animations, make them more lively. But you know what they're not going to do? They're not going to improve the way attacks perform. They're not going to make a specific fire-breathing animation for Charizard, even though it's, like, one of their most popular monsters. Because then they'd have to do that for the other, you know, the other 400 fire types or whatever the fuck, right? But they also have the money to hire enough fucking devs where they could fucking do that. And they just choose not to. Because they're going to make their, you know, they're going to they're gonna move 19 million units and it's not going to fucking matter. Because all of us dipshits have paid $70 to $140 per, you know, for two games that are identical. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out today. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And if you knew the channel, and you really enjoyed it, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye!